Today what I'm going to show you is how to recolor and recover flattened Photoshop files. So if you have like an old logo or an old design and you can only find the flattened image but you want to recolor it and maybe reuse some of the elements, this is how to do that. And this design has some texture applied which makes it much more difficult if you were to use say like the magic wand tool to make selections. So. I've got my layers panel open here, and as you can see, it's a flattened image. And I've also got my channels window open. We're gonna need that. So the easiest way, if it's a design like this, is to kind of break it down by color. And the most contrasty color in here is the black. So that's gonna be the easiest to extract. So if I go into the channels here and click on the different channels, You'll see the one that looks the most separate is this red channel. Um, so I'm just going to go Command or Control A to select all, and then Command or Control uh, C to copy, and then we'll click back on our RGB channel and go into our layers and go Command V. Now that pastes basically a copy of that red channel into our regular layers and we can use that to make a selection. So let's tweak our levels here, Command or Control L, and this will allow us to say darken our darks or lighten our lights. So what we wanna do here is just bring that background color and also this bottom color band. We just wanna bring that to white. So now we just have this black and white image here and we can control or command click on this RGB channel. And that makes a selection of everything that's white. So we can go select inverse and then make a new layer. And I'm just gonna turn off the visibility of the layers that are in there right now. So you can see it a little better. And let's go uh, shift F5 or edit fill. So we fill that with black. So that was pretty easy. So we've got this all separated out. Let me make a white background layer here um, just so you can see it a little bit better. So we're looking good. Now let's turn off the visibility of those layers. Let's go back to our flattened image here. And the next thing we want to do is let's isolate out these three different color bands. So this, this is where it gets a little more tricky. Um, I see a little bit of contrast here again in this red layer. So let's click on that, select all, copy, just like we did before. Let's go back into our RGB channels and go Command V. And also let's bring up our levels again, Command L. And what we want to do is we want to get this gray to a black. So let's just ramp up that and then let's move this slider over here to blow out those light grays and turn them to white and click OK and let's make a channel selection again by clicking command clicking on our RGB channel and then select inverse and let's make new layer and what I want to do is I want to fill that with this light brown that we have so let's get our eyedropper tool and just sample that light brown. And in a new empty layer, actually I'll turn everything off. Let's go edit, fill, and we'll fill with that light brown color. Click OK. Now when I turn on my background white and our black layer that we made a few minutes ago, let's use this black layer, go select, load selection, layer two transparency. We can just go back down to that light brown layer and hit delete. Now we have our black layer, we have our light brown layer. These are all isolated. And let's go back and do the same thing with these other two color bands. So I just skipped forward because I did the same process with these other two color bands. And you'll see in the layers panel how we have the black layer, we've got the middle orange layer, we've got 
the tan layer and the yellow layer all separate. And we also have that separated out from the background. So we can change these colors now by doing color overlays. So for this background color, we could go layer, layer style, color overlay. And we could give that, you know, pretty much any color. Let's say we wanted to do like a medium gray, click OK. And let's say for our tan layer here, let's turn that to a red layer, layer style, color overlay. And we'll click OK. So that's how to recolor and recover flattened designs in Photoshop.